Hello everybody, good afternoon. I can't say good morning because it's it's early evening actually. And I'm actually dog sitting. Look, I've got the beautiful Rasha here. Oh, she's just at her treat now. She's after another one. That's not happening. Go and get your water, Rasha. Let's go and get, look. Your water's over here, look. Come on. There's your water. Good girl. Yeah, I said to Neil, I'm going to be here all on my own. I'm going to be all lonely. So he was like, yeah, oh, she, in she comes. Come on, Rasha. <laughs> so he was like, well, I'll bring Rasha over then. Right, she's had way too many treats now. I'm just going to about to check on dinner. Yeah, so Dan and Neil's gone. Gone out to play, so to say. <laughs> All right, let's check on dinner. I don't know how this is going. I've tried to I've tried to cook things, but slowly, if that makes any sense. Oh, I just realised I've cut myself. I think that might be Russia actually with her claw. <sighs> Don't go in me rubbish bag. Yay, that's looking good. Let me bring you down a little bit closer, look. Look how cool that's looking. So I was making these on yesterday's vlog on Travel Trolls. These are, oh, I'll tell you what, these sausages are well good. See, look, they just need flipping over. We'll pick at those. Oh dear. Right, so I've actually stuck two in there and stuck two in there so they get all brown. Check out my little new potatoes, look. I've come up with an idea today. I'm just slicing them down. <laughs> I think they're gonna be nice. Let's check on Dan's chicken. Haven't peeked on this yet. Okay, it's not turning out quite like I was hoping it for it to. We'll take that lid off now. I think I'm going to have to put uh, cheese on this at the last minute. It's really kind of not working, is it? <laughs> yeah, I still think he'll like this. As long as it's not watery when I dish it up and just give him the chicken. That'd be nice. Let's get that back in the oven. What are you up to down there, Rasha? Are you having a shower? Are you going for a shower? <laughs> at the moment, we've got a jackery on a charge. Don't ask trying to get rid of a load of stuff here at the minute today and a jackery is one of them let's get this back in the oven oh gosh that's heavy oh that's heavy tell you what i'm gonna do with that turn that up higher it's trying to find space in this house honestly i'm struggling with space today <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna about to do hold on I'm sorry I have to adjust the camera what I'm gonna do is actually I had some leftover sort of tissue paper and I'm gonna wrap my little giveaway gifts I'm gonna wrap them nice all nice and pretty there we go so I'm just gonna reuse the uh, Amazon envelope as well oh rush has gone out she'll be right for a second right yeah, so let's give this a wrap. And then, whoever the winner is as well. well I say winner, it's not a competition, is it? Whoever gets the giveaways, I'll do a little personal note inside as well. But at this point in time, I still don't know who it is. Because it hasn't happened. Actually, it's going on tonight. Which reminds me, I must put... A little community thing on uh, the community page just to let everybody know right so I'll do that it's a little bit screwed up now but I bought this um, tissue I think it was last week or the week be week before for um, Boatheads on tour uh, Diane it was her birthday I had a little bit left over trim those bits down a bit too long is that Rasha getting some water oh you're getting some water sweetheart oh she's getting her drinky waters <laughs> yep so I'll just wrap these up nice 
um, on my vlog, um, I say on my vlog, when I um, did the video on um, the little craft kits I bought, I checked today, <laughs> there were no like little craft knives, no glue, nothing. So I had to buy this sort of glue, that sort of glue, craft knives, all sorts of things. Ended up being another 40 quid. So this hobby is turning out quite expensive before I've even gotten going. But no, I'm looking forward to it. But they won't arrive now till tomorrow. So I might give that a bash tomorrow if I'm allowed a day off. <laughs> right, that's one. I'm gonna stick some ribbon and stuff around that. Let's do this one. A new rasher was up to sight and she tipped her bottle, uh, bowl of water out. Let's give her some more. It's too hot. I'm not leaving it in the house now because I don't trust you. Come on. Come on. You can have your water, don't you, darling? There you go, sweetheart. Oh, you are thirsty. Wow, she's drinking that faster than Dan drinks a pint. <laughs> I feel you're up to something, darling. We haven't got a ball to play with you, have we? No, we haven't. She's just wandering around. When you up to something or other. Oh. So I've already been given some poo bags. <laughs> she's already gone for a wee. Let's just hope I don't need these. I'll save it for daddy. Dog of the devil, right? <laughs> she kept sniffing over here. Now, is that fresh? Is that actually yours, Rasha? Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna wait for daddy? <laughs> We're gonna wait for daddy. <laughs> yes, I agree, I totally agree. Neil, got a present for you. Oh, thank you. No, oh. I mean, she's got a present for you. Oh, no, what you don't want? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realise it was hers. It's over there. Where's she gone? Yeah, we don't do that kind of stuff. So there's my tea. Don't they look nice? I ended up putting cheese on my two sausages and some jalapenos, uh, potatoes, a massive blob of mayonnaise. And it's all gone. I absolutely go through loads of this stuff. Oh, pepper! Have a dummy pepper. Here we go. See, I've been a good girl. Not too much today. And that's Dan's. A concoction looks all right, actually, doesn't it? What do you reckon, babe? It'll have to do till supper. Good morning. Good morning. Right, so I've just got a few parcels to quickly open and it's all to do with me crafty bits. So I thought I wanted to share this to show you what extra little bits I've gotten. Now, I have worked out this hobby is actually getting a bit more expensive than I initially thought. <laughs> so um, it started off, I'd spent an extra 40 quid and then I realised I needed two extra other things. So I spent over 50 quid now just to get the bits and pieces. I'll get them all out on here and then I'll bring you down to show you what I've got. And if I've got the wrong thing, somebody please tell me because I'm not that totally clued up when it comes to the glue and stuff like that. I can't even remember what I've ordered if I'm quite honest. So let me just get these opened. Oh, it's another hot one today. Ah. Absolutely boiling. Yeah, these were the two extra things I had to buy. I thought, oh gosh, I'm gonna need a cutting mat and a metal ruler. So that then brought it up to another 10 odd quid. Right, anyway, let me, yeah, another hot day today. I'm actually wearing the same dress as yesterday. <laughs> I very rarely do that, but I'm running out a bit on, so I need to get washing done basically. And it is morning, believe it or not, as you can tell by my hair. <laughs> I've actually gone for the messy look today. I've barely brushed it. 
<laughs> well, I'm sweating actually, if I be quite honest. I've been cleaning and doing this and that and the other all the morning. And I'm literally just, I'm fit to have a shower already. And it's not even half nine. All right, let's see what we've got. Right, what's that then? Uh, uh, when we... Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I see what that is. Let's see if I can just rip that open. I don't think that needs to go in the box. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to keep that in the box. Right, let's bring you down to show you what I've got. Right, so for all these projects, let me just run you by these again. My crafty projects. I'm guessing you've got gluey, uh, woody bits, plastic bits, paper bits, all sorts. All right. So that's me cutting mat. Didn't want a huge one, so I think that's going to be brill. Obviously going to need a metal ruler. Sort of slice up. Uh, this glue. Now, is this the right glue? I can't even remember which one this was for now. Um, suitable for model building. It doesn't... I think that might have been the plastic... For the plastic. I think that's what I bought it for. So that's for plastic fast tack I think this will I brought this for the paper and card work work now I didn't buy wood glue because Dan said that this will probably do it somebody let me know if that will actually do it what else did I get oh yeah little glue glue little sticks and this is what's in here I thought fill an odd you know fill that up with glue Actually, they're a bit silly, really. I might have to cut the lid off. And they're not even going to fit in there, are they? <laughs> It'll be all right if I've got a little paintbrush. Well, actually, that's probably a waste of money now, then. But at least I've got a load of parts. Uh, 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 what are, oh, I didn't buy these. Oh, yes, I did. These are glue pens. Now, I've never seen this in all my life. I'm guessing it's kind of like a PVA. Oh, they're still in another bag. Anyway, they're little glue pens. Never seen that like that before. Let me open that quick. Just want to see how finely the tip is on those. Yeah, I've never seen these before. <sighs> Get quite a lot as well. Can't imagine me going through those. Okay. Okay, so that's nice and fine. See that? I won't try it now. But yeah, I thought that might be better for, you know, like the little finer details and stuff like that. Save getting glue everywhere. Um, this, I had to buy this. This is my little crafty knife. I don't feel that this is going to be quite right, but I'll give it a go. We've also had to get signed for because of, um, well, I was ordering knives. Now these, I've never seen these before yeah so although that's big and chunky i then spotted these let me just quickly open these now i've never seen these before either and they're so pretty so so pretty they've got like little hundreds and thousands of stars in there sort of thing and they move about but what they are is a lot of you have probably seen these before they're actually little knives I think they're do for doing kind of like, you know, that sort of decorative, is it decoupage, where you're cutting out like little detail. Never seen them before. You're going to have a lot, I'm going to have a lot more control with that if I have fiddly little bits. I think they're actually quite smart. Might give Dan one for his toolbox. Yeah, so that's everything for me crafts. When I get round to actually starting is another thing, but I've only actually received these just small. Well, they came last night, but I've only got them just morning. But where I'm going to put them all, I have no idea. They all, they're all just going on the chair at the moment, making a right mess of the place. All right, let's get on with this day. So I'd like to just thank Kim. She actually sent me, emailed me over some pictures of her completed um, sort of crafty, the same sort of thing I'm doing. It's like a doll's house. It's all lovely, electrics, everything. So thank you for that, Kim. I do appreciate that. Right, quickly, I just want to add, um, referring back to my competition um, video, there was a few people that got some odd messages. Now it looked like my account, but it wasn't my account with my face on it but the name was actually text me 
So it was quite confusing to people. And people were actually contacting me, telling me then that they'd text this number. So I just want to be, be, let you all know to be cautious and be aware of this. I would never text any of you. Apparently, on one, uh, some folk could text me, messaging me, saying they were asking for like details, bank details and emails or something like that. I would never do that. So just be careful. It's a massive scam and it's not me. Sorry if that came out a bit confuddly. I'm struggling with my speech this morning. I have no idea why. Well, I just got an envelope and I was trying out one of these pens, cut out a little square just to see um, how good these were. It's a wailing off, like doing its own kind of thing. So I think these are going to take some practice before I even tackle it onto the real, real items in there on my craft kits. Yeah, I'm not too sure about these as yet. Good, beautiful morning. So today's just a busy day, tidying up a little bit, freshening things up. Got a load of washing on the, well, I'm on my second load of washing already. Not even half eight, I don't think. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, I'm just gonna freshen the place up basically, get a few jobs done today. Had a nice fun day off yesterday, playing quiz with the neighbors. <laughs> if you ain't watched that, go over and watch that on the Travel Trolls. <laughs> That was good. Good laugh yesterday. We've also got Tesco's delivery this morning at some point. Um, only a small one. I don't know why we went so small today, but we have. Yep, so I've got a full line out. All Jan Dan shirts this morning, me dippy slippers. Got the bed in on the go. Good morning, darling. Morning. <laughs> it's a hot one again today. It's lovely and cool in here, though. Uh, got all my bed in, all stripped. But the again, now I need to do niggly bits. I told you this always turns into a wardrobe, so I just need to put a few of them away. And this is I need to get this cleaned properly. Don't worry, I won't be cleaning on this vlog. <laughs> I'm just saying what I've got to do today. Um, yeah, I've got a new toilet seat, so I want to get it all spruced up properly and get me posh, posh throne on there. Yeah, let's get these put away. I've also got a wardrobe door to fix down there. Well, it's not really fixed, it's just put the screw back in. Let me see if I can find a screwdriver. done a basic clean on my toilet area this morning but needs deep cleaning <laughs> um how do you open this neither me and dan knows how to open this open i've never known how to do these unless if it's really simple no nope, it's just not working <laughs> it says open that way open anyway I ain't got time I've, I've only got a little while before I've got to get back down to swap washing over I've got about 20 minutes so we'll give this a quick 20 minute deep clean <sighs> just getting a bit fed up with clutter this week I've already thrown away some stuff because I just it's getting on my nerves Right, do I want a cloth or a sponge? I'll use a sponge. I'm going to use some bleach. Needs a good bleaching. And I, I will get to use this for the first time. It was down for all this to get all the cobwebs off. I could do it fast, but yeah, yeah, I could. But it needs washing, really. Right, let's get all this off. Give it a clean. It could actually do a way of having a steam cleaner on this, but can't be bothered just today. Yep, 
Now these are a good idea, but we've never actually used these. <laughs> they just sit there empty. There's two of them, look. One goes in there. But I've got to wash the other one. Yeah, we never use them. All right, so I have just found a soap dispenser I've forgotten I had. So I'm just gonna give that a rinse and tip that into it. This smells amazing. Flinna frosting, we got that gifted to us. Still loads left. And actually, I've got a funny feeling I might have had two of those, but that one's actually been there since just the week before we went uh, to Tunisia. Yeah, look how pretty that is. I've forgotten I'd had that. I think back in the day, I'd actually bought two of those. Right, it's the only way to do it. wash that <laughs> there you go look how pretty that looks ah oh, it's double threaded is it or do you just push it on oh, I can't remember yep there we go look look how lovely that is Right, I've kind of done all this, but I haven't done the toilet area, the back of it, and the sort of carpet floor. And I've also still got to do this. But in the meantime, I've got to get down and get to the washing machine. Oops. I should have took those, that washing off the line, ready to put some more on. Right, let's go. Oh, washing bag. See you in a minute, darling. That's the worst, isn't it? Just stood on one of those prickly things in my flip flop. <laughs> I smell bacon. Yep, Mark's cooking. I can hear it sizzling. Oh, that's strange. I can't get in there. Going to have to see Neil or Mark. Fricky. Got it. <laughs> All sorted. Getting chatting with everyone today, wanting stickers. Right, I'm back. But I'm going from one thing to another. So I've got that load hung out now. So I've just got to hang all Dan's shirts up. Free drying again. Make the most of the weather. There, wash, there, wash, there, mine. All right. Yeah, perfectly dry. Don't even need ironing. Right, I think I'm gonna have to put a couple on each hanger. I don't think he's got enough hangers. Oh, they smell lovely, right. That's one done. Yeah, so I've got the bedding on the go now. I've actually got another white load to do after that, but because the white loads take quite a long time to do, I want to get the bedding done first so I can get that dried. Oh, oh no, I was going to put a couple on each when I... I'm talking about, I've been running around like a loon, I've forgotten what I'm doing. I also just missed my phone call that I've been waiting two weeks for from my doctor, but I think he's going to ring back, so that's all right. But it probably won't be till later on now. Oh, all done. Still got three hangers actually. I suppose I could have split them up. No, I couldn't have done because he's still got a couple of shirts on the on the line. So I'm just going to get these these two put away, and then I'm going to go and take five minutes out. Like I said, I still <laughs> still haven't finished the bathroom yet, and I couldn't fix my wardrobe door because I don't know where the um, a uh, screwdriver is but it's fine i'm getting there that's the main thing all right let's put these away all 
All right, let's go take a break. A little bit more relaxed now. <laughs> right, so Dan's outside um, doing a review, so I've got to keep it down. But what I have decided, I'm going to keep my old toilet seat. There is literally nothing wrong with it. It's clean. I have took it all to puppets anyway, just to get in the cracks and crannies and bleach it all, but it's clean. There's no scratches on it, it's fine. So I'll keep the brand new one as a spare, because often they can get scratched on top, so it's always handy to keep them as a spare. They're not cheap, so there's no point in replacing it if not need be. Right, so I'm getting there. I'll be glad when this is done now. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this with four loads of washing today and beds and everything. Never mind. Right, give this seat a bleach. <laughs> Yeah, it was just a lot easier to take this off to actually clean the toilet properly because when I deep clean the toilet, I mean all around the back of it, all in the cracks and crannies, I usually get um, earbuds and stuff like that. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm not, I'm not going to waste. We'll have that, keep that as a spare. Yeah, I took five minutes out. I needed it. Yeah, I was literally down at the washing machines this morning at 10 to 8. It's now half 10. And I haven't stopped. So it's only been a couple of hours. But it's that running around up and down in that heat. All right, let's crack on with this toilet business now. That's perfect. It's so perfect, I'd eat my dinner off it. All sweat, no tears though. I've finished. <laughs> I haven't quite finished putting a few bits away, but yeah, I've done it. So I've done me skylighty doodle. That was all dusty. And it's all all cleaned. Tried to get, um, even got the toothbrush out. Trying to get all behind the toilet area and get scooping up all the dust area and stuff like that. So whenever I do, um, deep clean the toilet area I try not to put things back as such only if they're essentials that's essential <laughs> so that goes in there always like a soap and cream and a smelly these are from my daughters my daughters made those well made the heart um, keeping that actually this is a gift from a lovely lady in Ireland but <laughs> It, it holds my doodars, my lady products. <laughs> I usually hang it on there, but that needs to go into the wash. I'm not getting rid of it. And yeah, just a couple sort of putting, you know, spares away and stuff. So I'm all done for now. Dan's literally now gone down for the wheelbarrow to pick up the shopping. <laughs> 